Hi again, Scott, Fifth Wheelers Australia in Ballarat. Today we're doing an install on the new Ram 1500. This 1500 is the Express Edition, the entry level Ram. We're going to put a three inch ball kit in it. Um, the kit comprises of two components. There's the centre box with the three inch ball, that's called the receiver. And there's the rail kit, which is two big bits of angle iron and some brackets. It all fits in drilled holes on the chassis and squash plates, there's no drilling. You need a three and a half inch or 89 mil hole in the floor. So let's have a look at the install. When we start, first thing to do, pull out this inner guard, pull that out of both sides. We didn't take the wheels off. And just while we're here, before we lift it up and have a look, the pull handle for releasing the ball. Um, the guys have cut a nice little notch here and I've put some measurements on there and when you want to release the ball simply pull and lock and you can pull the ball out and then reverse and that'll fire back in and that'll keep the ball in while you're towing. Let's have a look in the back of the ute. So in here we've, uh, we've put the ball in to the required distance from here on the rear tailgate. We've measured in 1120 mil. Uh, so you'll be using instructions from America, they'll be in inches, um, but we've converted the 1120mm drill, a 93mm, uh, 89mm uh, hole saw, down through the floor, and that's the spot to mount it in either of the two um, 1500s that are available in, the, in Australia. Okay, here's some of the bracket install on the uh, driver's side of the 1500. Uh, the, the front bracket sits in there. Now this bolt goes straight onto the end of the angle iron. The short piece of angle iron is the front uh, bracket rail. The longer one is at the back. Uh, this bracket comes all in one piece and there's a top and a bottom bolt here that you have to insert through the chassis. So there's a hole in the chassis. You stick the fish wire in and it pulls that bolt out through there. Uh, so that's the, uh, the bracket install. So here we are with the bracketry underneath the 1500. The front, the short angle iron, it, it's right up snug against that uh, top hat section and the other one is tucked in here. We had to deal with this wiring loom that runs across. The ABS connection uh, electrical connectors are there. Pop them off, disconnect that wire. It's normally here and you've got to then change it and run it back and do what we've done there. So that Y section ends up on that, the front side of this rail. So that's a bit tricky to do, and uh, but then we can cable tie that back on there. So that's the wiring dealt with. And also you've got to reposition this breather hose. We just pulled the clips off, dealt with it again, clipped it back on, just to reroute the breather hose around the front of that rail that's hidden in the back there. Um, there's grade eight bolts that come in the kit with the receiver box. The grade eight bolts are used in this area here. There's also the U, these um, chain mounts, they're spring loaded, they have to be drilled separately and they have little lock nuts that hold them on there. The handle that comes in the receiver box needs to be changed out to this black handle that comes with the chassis mounting kit. So that black handle is shaped specifically for the ram. Just while we're here, uh, this hole in the bottom of the chassis is where we put the fish wire. So we poked it in there and dragged it out of here, both top and bottom, through that access hole. There's an ADR approval sticker here for the centre receiver. It's rated to four and a half tonne for the centre receiver and the ball. The ball's actually rated to seven tonne. And just as another tip, we loosened the, um, the tub, we loosened all the bolts took them and then removed them out of one side, lifted it up to get the rails in. So you need to lift the tub about that far on one side just to poke the rails across to the other side. If you don't do that, you've got to notch out a piece of the, um, the tub body and it looks a bit daggy. So if you want a kit for your Ram 1500 to tow your four and a half tonne, give us a call at Ballarat or check us out on the net. Thanks.